to describe how culture defines humor. Oh, it's not going? Just kidding. I don't know how to turn that off. Not against expectations. Oh, man. That was fast. I can't work technology. Hold on, I'm going to start this over because it's already...
distinction between creative production and other industries, like law and finance, is that you basically get these jobs because you were at the top of your class, you cold called, you you know, you did what you need to do, got your resume in. Here are kind of these anecdotes that you get from artists and editors. It's more of I got this because I knew someone or they had heard of me. And it's something that in New York it's a word of mouth type of thing that doesn't really happen in a place like LA. Like running into someone in LA, like walking down the street and be like, oh, you know, my stuff was in this gallery last week. They'll be like, I don't I don't know who you are, like I, I haven't seen this. And also something that Kerr touches on is that all of these works kind of not just within the creative industry, a lot of different things like art, fashion, writing, all of these things work together. It's not one thing on its own. Like if you think of movies, you've got, it's a whole economy and different people working together. You've got writers, you've got costumers, you've got actors. Um, it's based on the source of sharing information and with New York and the city, it's how you were able to get that information out there and how your environment is conducive to that. Um, and, and you know, here it once again states like the walkability of New York streets, um, that you're able to walk around, that you have access to this neighborhood environment, like there's a sense of community. Like in New York City, um, Diane von Furstenberg, who's a designer, writes in the article that in New York, socializing is, is kind of a career opportunity when you go out to almost a support system, like you go out to support the people that you know, and while you're out supporting people, you make these ties, and you learn new things, and you become inspired by what you see out. Like New York in itself is an inspiration. Um, and the first question are, what are things that other cities can try to do to build and support the creative industries and economies that Kieran says are vital to an economy? Do you think that there is anything Charlotte or Davidson could do to foster an environment that is conducive to artistic and, art, artistic and culture industries? And then the second one is with new technology such as Facebook and Twitter, do you think these tools diminish? Let's be some kind of pause or something that you can get this quickly. I think it'd be time to longer. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And with these new technologies such as Facebook and Twitter, do you think these tools diminish the need for what Kira calls run-ins um, to create weak ties? Is James Jacobs' idea of an urban environment still necessary for the type of social networking discussed in the Warhol economy? Yeah. That was a lot. That's a lot of information. 